The function of the respiratory system is first to get oxygen to the alveoli and then to get the oxygen to enter the blood onto the red blood cells for delivery to the cells throughout the body. There are a number of factors that affect how easily oxygen can cross the alveolar membrane and hop onto red blood cells in the blood. The partial pressure difference is important because you need to have a higher oxygen content in the alveoli than in the blood so oxygen will want to go out of the alveoli and into the blood. The partial pressure of oxygen in the alveoli at sea level is around 104 millimeters of mercury. The partial pressure of deoxygenated blood entering the lungs and wrapping around the alveoli is around 40 millimeters of mercury. Therefore, the partial pressure difference of oxygen between the alveoli in the blood drives oxygen out of the high concentration in the alveoli to the lower concentration in the blood. This way, when blood leaves the alveoli, it is filled up with oxygen to around 100 millimeters of mercury. The partial pressure difference is affected by high altitude. Less oxygen is available, so the partial pressure of oxygen in the alveoli is much less, making the driving force or pressure gradient more difficult for oxygenation to take place. The thickness of the alveolar membrane affects the ability of the oxygen molecules to cross to the red blood cells. The alveolar membrane is made of simple squamous epithelial tissue, the thinnest it can be. With conditions like pneumonia, the alveolar membrane can thicken, making it more difficult for oxygen to effectively cross over to the blood. One of the most remarkable features of the lungs is the immense surface area. The millions of tiny air sacs or alveoli are each surrounded by a sheet of blood. This exposes as much blood to air as possible. Alveolar surface area is compromised in patients with emphysema. Just as smoking causes accelerated skin damage and damage to the connective tissue of the vocal cords, it also damages the alveoli. Patients with emphysema no longer have millions of tiny individual alveoli, but have large gaps and air spaces in places where alveoli have ruptured. The ventilation of air throughout the lungs does not always adequately supply all the blood needing oxygenation. Due to gravity, more blood will travel throughout the lower regions of the lungs. There may not be enough oxygen to adequately load up all the red blood cells traveling in the lower region, so blood leaving the lower regions of the lungs may only be about 95% oxygenated. However, in the upper region, there are plenty of oxygen and not quite as much blood, so blood leaving the upper regions of the lungs will be 100% oxygenated. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, occurs when a person has regions of the lungs that is not getting adequate air exchange, functioning like it is sealed off. These air pockets are considered to be anatomical dead space, so the blood going to those areas of the lungs will not get oxygenated at all. This is called ventilation perfusion mismatch, where there is adequate blood flow or perfusion, but no matching air supply or ventilation to supply that blood. The main modifiable factors that affect alveolar gas exchange for both oxygen and carbon dioxide are the pressure gradients, alveolar membrane thickness, the surface area for gas exchange to take place, and the matching of ventilation and perfusion. The associated pathologies that reduce blood oxygenation illustrating the role of each of these factors are shown. High altitude can reduce the pressure gradient. Pneumonia can increase the alveolar membrane thickness. Emphysema can reduce the area around the alveoli to make large spaces reducing the area that blood can go to get oxygenated. Ventilation perfusion matching is affected by COPD where there are constricted airways preventing gas exchange to those alveoli.